Hey, are you a business owner, entrepreneur, or professional? If so, we want you to apply to be a featured guest on our show. My name is Adam Torres, and I host the Mission Matters series of podcasts. I've recorded over 3,000 episodes, and we are just getting started. How do you know if you'd be a good guest to be on the show? Well, only one way to find out, and that's to apply, but I'm going to let you in on a little secret. We want guests that have a story to tell, guests with a brand, a product, or a service that can benefit my audience of listeners. If this sounds like you, go to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. I'd love to talk to you and get to know more about your story. Again, head on over to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. All right, now let's get into the show. Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres to keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author in one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so it is a very special episode. I don't know if you've been following this series now or if you or if uh, this is your first time tuning in, but this is a very special series that myself and Kamar Zaman are putting together where we're teaching business owners, entrepreneurs, executives, and experts really what it takes to take their marketing to the next level. If you're tuning into this series, things that you can expect, you can expect, you know, high level things like what to do with your media. You can expect some of the the nuanced things like uh, SEO where Kamar, he's the expert there. I leave that to him as I always tell him. I'm like, I'm not going to talk about things I don't know. But that being said, hey, Kamar, just first off, welcome back to the show, man. Always a pleasure to have you on. Always a pleasure to be with you. So, Kamar, today's topic. So this is a big one. And I, I may sound biased because obviously I'm a host of a show and you're a host and like we we're, we work in the media, but I don't think that we look at this topic often enough. And I don't think we have, we always look at this side of the coin, so to speak. So normally when we think media, we think, you know, obviously the power for promotion. Obviously we can think of the, you know, the, the not so good side of media, like the, uh, you know, the clickbait stuff and, the, you know, the, the propaganda, all that stuff. So, and, I, and that's what our subject is today. So we'll talk about the importance of media in doing good. So essentially, how do you do something over and above just your day-to-day business using media and maybe some of the reasons why you can do it or should do it? So today, we're going to do a, a case. We're going to use a, a bit of a case study, I should say, on something that Kamar and myself are actually working on right now. By the way, Kamar is spearheading this. This is his initiative. And Mission Matters, we just decided, really, we just fell in love with the project. And we're like, we want to help. We want to contribute. So Kamar, maybe let's just to get us um, started with this case study of sorts. Tell us a little mm-hmm. bit more about the project. Absolutely. Love to. So... About a week ago, you know, I work mostly online and in Skype. So I got an alert from one of my clients who's based in India. And he requested that, is there a way that he can get some charity going and so he can raise some funds for people that have uh, fungus? And his uncle was one of them. The shots to get that treated is like $15 a shot, which is quite a bit of money in India. So uh, what can I do? And and I said, why don't we set up a GoFundMe page? And he says, well, GoFundMe is not available. And I said, hmm, so let me think about it. So as I was thinking, then I got busy uh, in a day. And then what I did was I thought, well, and I'm a very spontaneous person, Adam, as you probably know. So I thought, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, I have these five people on my phone, so I'm going to call them. And these are my favorite five, you being one of them. So I called all my favorite five people and I said, hey, we are uh, rolling out a India initiative and we want to raise some funds so we can help somebody uh, in India or help as many people as we can. So I raised like in less than one hour, $5,000, which is not too shabby, but we want to do bigger. So, and that's what, what we call outreach, right? Where we pick up the phone, we call somebody, Uh, And now when we did that, incidentally, when I called the fifth person who is one of my clients, as well as a great friend like you, Adam, when I talked to him and I said, and he calls me Tiger, he says, Tiger, what you want now? 
And I said, I want a thousand dollars from you, but maybe more. And he says, you know what? What you're doing is actually being done as we speak by one of his clients and his good friend. His name is Sam. And Sam is coming to LA and he's actually on board right now in the plane coming to LA as we speak. And on Tuesday, which is next week, he is flying a plane. Sam is from aviation, so his background mm-hmm. is aviation. Sam mm-hmm. is flying a plane from LAX to India, and why don't you talk to him? So to summarize the story, you know, I said, okay, text me. So we did a group chat. I talked to Sam last night, and as we speak, Sam and I are putting to this initiative. GoFundMe page has already been created. And the next big thing is that we are flying that plane from LAX and, you know, spending whatever it takes and taking the ventilators, you know, all the necessary stuff that is uh, required to help as, as much as we can uh, to India. So this is just this is just a matter of last 24 hours, Adam, because if you remember, I called you last night. Man, that is uh, that that's quite a story. And so, if we're if we're thinking about the logic of this, so let's see how this story unfolds and how it builds. And and for those yeah. that are listening to this, we we normally do a couple episodes of these a month, so we'll we'll get some closure and we'll we'll close this story, but we won't get it all today because it's unfolding as we're saying it. Yeah. So so you started with pretty straightforward, right? Grassroots effort. So whatever, yeah. the dollar amount mm-hmm. doesn't matter. It could have been a dollar. Obviously, we're yeah. happy that you that your five mm-hmm. had a little bit of money to contribute. So we're happy about that but if you're listening to this and you're like if i call one of my buddies and ask them for a thousand dollars they're gonna they're gonna laugh at me like that's fine like you call and you mm-hmm. ask for ten dollars doesn't matter but the point is number one you took action you started you had a you had a reason to do something you took action and you went forward so now you you saw this multiplier effect right of what happened and what happened is it multiplied and you got more ideas like more talent more things came to the table so now you have this multiplier effect so now what you're doing and this this kind of circles back into the marketing side of this show and what we do overall is you're saying well hey this idea had legs like it obviously it's to do good and people want to do good and they want to contribute and and so it has legs so now how do you really and so now you put you did the GoFundMe page because you're like you need a vehicle right you need something yeah. easy and trusted for people to actually contribute in to pay so now you took care of kind of some of the logistics there so like now how does media tie into this piece and like how does this really like amplify things like what's your plan going forward Correct. So I'm actually breaking it down into small chunks. So the first thing, as you said, outreach, uh, grassroots level. So I got the five people committed because uh, my second step was that when I have the GoFundMe page, I just don't want a GoFundMe page with some zero dollars. I want some money to go in. So that's the commitment from my corporate sponsors. So now the GoFundMe page is ready. We have funded about $1,000 so far. Another five, six k is going to be funded in the next few hours, right? Once that is done, the next step is that we are building what we called a skyscraper page in our website, uh, which is called Story. So under the Story, there's going to be a page where we will have my developers are working right now uh, as we speak, and we'll be ready tomorrow. In that page, we will have the mission of what we are doing, What what is the purpose of this cause, you know, who is driving fuel to that, and that is our corporate sponsors, KISS PR, some of you guys. And then the next thing is now we are, have a writer, Tara. Tara is actually writing a press release as we speak, and that's going to be ready by 4 o'clock, and this is going to be fired up with all the, you know, engines, and this is going to start be published. Once that is done and is going to be in the big wire services, we also talked to Fortune India. We're going to have an article published in the next week. So all all the, you know, machine is loaded and the media initiative has been programmed in less than a few hours. 
And so, and, and obviously on our end, so at Mission Matters, we're going to put out this podcast episode. We're going to put out our, you know, an episode. We'll, we'll, so we'll get those on our channels. But obviously, like, this is our business, Kamar. Like, we're yeah. in the media mm-hmm. business. So not everybody yeah. can, is going to pick up the phone and call me and be like, hey, Adam, like, dude. And by the way, if you're listening to this, don't pick up the phone and call me and ask me for money. <laughs> but, so, but that being said, you know, Kamar and I have that relationship. So he's able to do that. But that being said, like, how does, like, we're industry insiders like how does the everyday you know small business owner that isn't necessarily as connected like how do they how do they do that so i always believe that even when you are starting and and you are a small business owner you don't have the expertise of the media you have some kind of a resource whether it's you you have at least five friends you reach out to them on a very grassroots level and then just use your basic Instagram, Facebook, whatever you have available, at instant messenger, Skype, iPhone chat, whatever you have, just reach out. If you have the purpose, if you are driven by a purpose and you're genuine about the purpose, then it's not necessary that you must write a press release and publish it. You know, that's obviously something easier for us to do because this has become our second nature for us but just pick up the phone and call those five people and then, or chat them and then say, Hey, I've just put a post on Facebook, go like it and start making it viral. Not everybody has access to press releases, but everybody has friends. I hope, you know, and if you don't, then you obviously you need to change your life. So definitely, you know, those are basic things that you can do. And for a small business, like last year, you know, March, 2020, when COVID happened, you know, I I was not ready for this thing to happen. Nobody was. I did the same thing. I called the five people. We created an initiative and we helped 30,000 businesses. We gave them free press releases and people found it. They were, people were struggling. They were searching for what can they do? They were searching on Google free something, you know, so they can participate. And people came in and they funded us. Some gave $5, some gave $500 and we, we created the cause and we, you know, we helped put food on a lot of people's tables. Man, that's awesome. I love that. And I, and I, I just think it's a, it's a big deal. It's a good, it's a great initiative. And these tools, like when you're talking about like this, the way, the way I like to look at it is, and people use this word differently, but platform, everybody, the thing that was platforms. And I think where people miss understand it is that you know different size plat your know, platform can be you have a facebook account it could even be your personal one it doesn't mean it has to be something fancy or anything else a platform just means in my definition it's a way to talk to multiple people that's really it it's in there and where people can come to your whatever it is wherever the content is housed or held or whatever you want to say they can come and see what you're about what your content's about and that could be a personal page that could be anything you might have a website that's a type of platform if you're commuting and giving information and giving value from it you might have you might do a facebook live you might have a podcast and and if you don't have one we launch podcasts here all day long that's my shameless plug in this one but so we we definitely love to help business owners do that but like a podcast is a platform so the idea is is that you have to start somewhere and then that's where it grows so like when we started over here, like our platform, the original one was all we all I had, and this is before a name, a website, anything else, all I had was my phone, I had some Apple headphones, and I had I don't use them anymore, but I had a hosting site that lets you host for free. I've since paid for my hosting just because I, I I figured out like you need to pay for your hosting for your or for your for your podcast. You just get better services. That's a little insider tip there. So you definitely want to pay for your hosting. Don't go for anything that's free. There's always the cost if it's free on the back end put it that way but little tip there little nugget but that's all i had and we recorded like 300 plus episodes and made a platform out of like zero spend kamar that was our story like when people would say when they say they want to do good or they want to create something they want to go out and do stuff like they can just go do it has been my experience what's your experience with that it's just the way you said it so i recall when you had started your podcast i had received an email uh, from somebody, hey, meet Adam, he's doing it, you should also do it, you know, so I booked it. And then you called me, we became friends, and I said, Adam, can can you tell me what platform can I use? And you said, 
this free platform, just use it. You know, you, you didn't hide or do anything and say, hey, you have, you have to go and buy this. He says, uh, and your words were, I like to do this from a hotel or wherever I am. I just use my Apple, you know, uh, headset and I just do Man, it. Man, I forgot we service. met on the podcast. I totally forgot that. It's been years right. now. That's crazy. And for yeah. everybody that's listening, so we published books together. We've done a lot of work together. It all met like so. Oh, well, you said earlier, if somebody don't have friends, get friends. Well, <laughs> well, get a podcast and you apparently make friends. I can't believe it. I forgot that's how we met. That's crazy. Yeah. So that's. So that was that. But like in a real sense, my my wife, she's a CPA and she is not tech savvy the way I am. But she has friends on Facebook and she gets these, you know, like she will post like if I give her a link and says, hey, babe, can you share this with some of your friends? I'll get like 10 people donating. So mm-hmm. it's kind of like Facebook is perfect. It's a community. And if you're on these free platforms and you have friends or their friends, somebody somebody will share it. If you have a real purpose, all you have to do is just let it out from you. Okay. I mm-hmm. think most businesses overthink it. They'll say, well, I'll do it when I will have a podcast mic. You don't need a mic. You just need your iPhone and your headset. That's what I'm using right now. You know, so... And I'm I'm doing a podcast. You know, you you have now a very sophisticated system. I'm still running on the basic, you know, 3.0. So well, that's all you need, to be honest. So I, I like to give somebody some some tools here. And mm-hmm. so we've talked about we've talked about obviously the the press side of things. We've talked about you know use Facebook. We've talked about a couple other things. I guess one one tool we haven't talked about on the show previously. I don't believe, and it's kind of new, but more and more people are hearing about it is Clubhouse. So we've done quite a few things on Clubhouse at Mission Matters. We we actually started a Mission Matters Club where every week we do we host different talks around like different subjects. Every Everything from like mentorship to what did you learn or you know these type of things. So a lot of different things, diversity, inclusion topics. I mean, a lot, a lot of different things that we've covered at this point. So, uh, what's been your experience with Clubhouse as a platform, Kamar? Clubhouse is good. It's obviously for people that are a bit techy. Uh, they know a little bit about it. But you know, just joining, downloading a Clubhouse app joining the com- communication or a community so you can, you know, get your feedback vet. As simple as that. It's very simple. You just join, you know, the Mission Matters community. You join some of the communities that you are passionate about and listen and see what people are talking. And that's how you will make friends, you know, because when you join, you know, you can add other people. When you start adding people, like-minded people, you know, it's it's kind of like a dating Minder, which I never use, but that's, that's how they work. If you want to find a girlfriend, you know, that's what you're going to do. So this is a business relationship. Obviously, for business, you can join a free LinkedIn account, you know, connect with a few people. I'm sure you will find some old friends you will find there. You know, you will connect to Clubhouse. You will find some people there. I'm not a big fan of Twitter, but if if you are, then join Twitter. You know, if if you're more tech savvy, you know, go create a content on YouTube, again, free. You know, if you want to send out a story about your business, go to story.kisspr, which is our platform. It starts for free. Then when you want big publicity, you know, you join uh, our effort, you know, come on a podcast and you get more mileage. But there are a lot of places these days. And one thing that I would, I have learned from big marketer that if you know somebody like Adam and Adam has a brand halo because now everybody knows Adam, right? So align yourself with an Adam, whoever that is in your community. So borrow a little bit of their brand halo and they will, you know, that will shine on you. And then you talk about your subject matter and then people will start to follow you. You know, very simple. Really, very, very simple. Oh, man. This is, these are great tips. And as always, this has been great, Kamar. So we'll, we normally keep these about half an hour or so, so we'll, we'll wrap this up. But before we do, Kamar, if somebody's listening to this and they want to learn more about KISS PR, they want to learn more about your services that you're doing day in and day out, I mean, what's the best way for them to do that? The best way to do KISS PR is obviously Google KISS PR. 
if you type Google Kiss or just type Kiss PR, you'll be on the first page of Google. If you go to our website, it's called Story dot uh, that's another way to do it they can google for me kamar zaman it will also take you to all of my digital assets just type adam torres and kamar zaman they will find all of us together we have made it really easy for you to find us because we have nothing to hide right so we are accessible anywhere Oh, this is awesome. Well, Kumar, really appreciate you coming on the show today again, and I love co-hosting this show with you. We're gonna, we're gonna, we'll have on our next episode. We got to remember to to close the loop on on this GoFundMe initiative. And one more time, the GoFundMe. How do people find that? So, we should, by the time you uh, finish this episode, we'll put the description. Right now, it's kind of like a long URL, so they won't even remember it, but. Okay. We'll put that so in the we'll, description So we'll put it notes. in the show notes. Yeah. Then. That sounds like yeah. a plan. Yeah. All right. Well, in that case, thank you again for coming on, Kamar. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. I uh, hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. We want you to be a return listener and a return visitor. And uh, Kamar, thanks again for coming on the show. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, Adam.